rarely have I been asked, and I chair quite a lot of things, uh, to chair a debate with such an open-ended discussion point. Science in schools, what are the options? Uh, how long is a piece of string? Is there a God? Am I really here? All, I think, could be more easily and with less disagreement solved than this pesky subject of science in schools. Engineering is not a taught subject in most schools, but is it now time to change that? The director of the Boston Museum of Science, a guy called Yanis Mualis, thinks that we should. And his arguments are that kids spend a long time understanding how a volcano works, but most of them haven't got a clue about how the car that they drive around in much of the time, actually, how it, how it gets its energy, how it moves, what the gearing systems are for. But I think that on that basis, on that principle, we should be doing everything we can to, uh, to show how science is one of the places that we learn that the most important thing is to use evidence rather than provenance when we're making decisions about our lives. And I think if you take that approach, i.e. take the pupil seriously in the intellectual endeavour that you're engaging with, then you don't need to uh, kind of look at public engagement as a, as a means to opening up those discussions. You can do it by taking the actual science itself, and that will obviously open up those discussions. In its essence, the nuts and bolts of it comes back down to if you don't teach them the foundations of science, if you don't teach them the foundations of the separate disciplines of science from the beginning, then you're going to be teaching them something else. I'm arguing that we could do a lot to open up more of a vision for science for social justice. So I think science does have lots to offer people. It can help offer, um, help offer more uh, improved life chances for young people, but we do need to put social justice, I think, at the vision and the relevance of why it's relevant for young people. Why should we want them to study it beyond the pipeline? In some countries in the world, um, science is compulsory up to the age of 18 or thereabouts. Should the UK go the same way? Compulsory science in some form to 18, yes, definitely. Uh, ideally within a, a baccalaureate uh, structure as well, so that choices can be made later. Uh, yes, I, I like the baccalaureate structure and keeping choices open longer. Do you think there's time in the curriculum for young people to develop persistence when they are taking part in practicals? In some ways, I, I would prefer to see less experimentation that was just recipe following <laughs> and more investigative, inquiry-based learning. I think the resilience comes out of trying something out. As kids are doing, you know, we, I think we underestimate just how resilient young people are that they're learning about the world all the time and they manage to survive and we should be promoting that in, in our classrooms and, and more broadly. I'm sorry, I think that doing the recipe-based experiments is a damn good thing for them to do because until they've done that, how on earth can they then use and manipulate and deal with equipment in the context of something they want to investigate? I mean, if you give uh, a year seven pupil an experiment to do, they'll probably break the equipment because they've never picked it up. If you could do one thing, and one thing only, to improve uh, science in our secondaries. I'd get rid of double, the double-triple science distinction. Yeah, but I'd make it all triple. <laughs> so, uh, and I, I'd, I'd try and insist that what we do is train teachers to teach their subjects, not general science. The baccalaureate idea, I think, would make a massive difference to provision of science, and it would mean that, the, that more young people who don't go into science would have, a, would have a better understanding of the scientific process, and I think that would be better for society. But I also think professional development of teachers properly funded, supported by head teachers, through a career-long um, pro continuing professional development, uh, including properly funded university-based initial teacher training as well, I think those would make a massive difference to the quality of science education. Well, look, I, uh, I chair quite a lot of things uh, in my day-to-day -day life, and I think this is right up there amongst the best that I've ever been involved with. It's been fantastic. I hope you all agree, and I hope you can join me in thanking our brilliant panel, David, Peter, and Louise. Uh, I've been Ed Doral. Good night. <laughs>